Dear students, welcome to the COSC 1301 VF2 class. Uh, my name is Yinping Nicole Jiao. Uh, we will be working together to have a short, wonderful semester. Uh, the semester is from October 24th to um, December 18th. So it's uh, eight weeks uh, uh, mini semester, and uh, we have to do a lot of assignments here. Uh, today is the first day. I'm going to show you uh, what we have, and I'm going to show you the blackboard course content first. Then I'm going to show you the online class assignments. Uh, after you log into your blackboard, uh, your this class account, uh, you see my personal infos, my email my office phone number, my office hours. Uh, this is the online class uh, assignments web address, South Texas College Seminar Online.com. The class name in Seminar is for 2016 Computer Science 1301 VF2 job class. Make sure when you enroll in seminar and uh, find out this class and don't enroll in a run class. Uh, next, I'm going to show you the course syllabus uh, is in this folder. Okay, open it. It's a PDF file. Uh, the first part of the syllabus is my personal info. My office is in building M142. Uh, on the north side of Pecan Avenue. Uh, my office phone, my email, my office hours. Uh, course description. This course is an uh, overview of computer information systems. We teach both uh, computer skills plus computer literacy. To teach computer skills, we use Microsoft uh, Office, we teach in Microsoft Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint. Um, to teach the computer literacy, we have a textbook. The textbook is called Computing Now. There are like eight chapters in the textbook. So we do both computer skills plus computer literacy. Uh, we have three course learning outcomes. Uh, after you finish this course, you should be able to use, uh, you know, Microsoft Office software, uh, and uh, you should be able to do some uh, mathematical problems, uh, like uh, you are going to learn the formulas uh, in Excel and uh, Access. Uh, you should be able to discuss the uh, computer issues, use the computer literacy uh, again in this class. To be successful in this class, you need uh, critical thinking skills, communication skills, and uh, some empirical and quantitative skills, maybe teamwork, uh, personal responsibility, and uh, social responsibilities. And uh, you read the course requirements. Uh, and basically, you have to be responsible for your, all your course work. Uh, try to keep up with all your class assignments. Since this is a mini semester and we go very fast, so you have to you know, squeeze your time out from your family, from your work, and uh, try to finish uh, class assignments in each week. And we don't have a, a, like a daily assignments, uh, usually I schedule weekly assignments. So the duty always on like the weekend, Sundays, uh, uh, Sundays middle night, something like that. Okay, uh, this is uh, the grading criteria. Uh, we use point systems. So if you gain 90 points above, you get A, 80 points above, you get B and C, D, F. Um, so far, so forth. Uh, you may be concerned, uh, you know, what, uh, how do we distribute the course points? Uh, you do class, uh, uh, 
critical thinking discussions uh, or lab assignments, uh, this count as 10%. Uh, and uh, 20% will be your seminar lessons and the projects. Uh, there are four chapter exams. Uh, I put uh, two chapters together for one exam. So this is uh, exam one, two, three, four. Uh, you have a skill exam for each software. After you take the lessons, at the end you are going to take a skill exam. Textbook info. Uh, this is the picture for the textbook. It's called uh, Computing Now and it's about the computer literacy. There are eight chapters in this. Besides the textbook, uh, you have to purchase the access code for using SimNet Office 2013. So I'm going to show you, you know, what's SimNet. So SimNet is an online website. This is the address. And it's called a South Texas College dot And this is a login screen. You have to create your username, password in order to use it. Um, you must have access code. You pay to get your access code. In another video, I'm going to show you how to register to become SimNet users. Okay. The same net assignments. After you have your username and password, you're going to see your class assignments after you sign in to SimNet. Uh, I have signed into the class, and you can see this is uh, your class assignments. I have organized all the class assignments into uh, folders. For example, the Word folder. Uh, if you double click, open it, you see the assignments inside. Uh, you also see the due dates for each assignment. So for you, you have to watch out the due dates. Try to finish it up before the due dates. Uh, sometimes I give grace period. Uh, even after due dates, you may have two or three days grace period. But you have to watch out all the time. And uh, this uh, same net sometimes will remind you, you know, how many overdue assignments you have. So you just need to be aware of uh, your overdue assignments. Now go back to the course syllabus uh, and uh, we continue with the, the end is the uh, course schedule. And uh, we have about eight weeks. In these weeks, uh, and we do uh, lessons in SimNet. Uh, we have scheduled the chapter exams for the computer literacy book. Uh, also, uh, you have to uh, answer some discussion questions uh, in the blackboard. Uh, you go to the left side of the blackboard, you see a link. Uh, you open this discussion board, you see there are four discussion questions with the due date. Um, so their due day is this also here. For example, their discussion question one, the due day is uh, November 6th. Okay, so just uh, uh, be aware you have to answer these uh, discussion questions. Uh, email. So you have to practice how to use uh, Blackboard emails uh, in order to communicate with your classmates uh, or your instructors. Okay, let me show you a little bit about the emails. So the link is right here. You click uh, the email. Uh, you go to create a message, and you have inbox send box. So all the incoming mails are inside the inbox. All your send out mails get into this folder. So whenever you want to compose a message, you click. Uh, you click here, and uh, you're going to see, uh, click uh, the two button, and uh, this is going to show you the class roster. Uh, you see your name should be here, and my name should be here. My name has instructor at the end. And whenever you want to uh, write an email to me, you click my name and click a uh, select button, and uh, I will be choose as a recipient. And uh, you can put a title like uh, welcome. And let, let me just try this. So on any message you want to write, uh, you click here. Uh, OK, 
Okay, I just want to then show you how to use it. So this is the message place you type uh, your message body. And if you have attachment, you can browse uh, to attach. So this is basically the same thing like uh, any other emails, uh, Google mails, Yahoo mails. And after you have done your message, uh, possibly uh, attachment, uh, you can submit. I have submitted one to myself. You see, I sent an email to myself. I sent a, a few others before also. So it's uh, a very good way to to keep things in with that blackboard. You can email to yourself to organize uh, your assignments. This is uh, one of the storage you can consider to use in the future. Uh, okay, so that's about the email in. Mm, blackboard. Uh, in the first day class, uh, you go click on start here, and you see a more. I have a lot of class orientation videos in here, and uh, you can watch this video for how to use the same net, uh, enroll, uh, how to register to enroll in the same net class. Re remember, the class you have to join is called uh, Fall 2016 Computer Science 301 VF2 GEL class. In this video, I have used another class as an example, so make sure you understand that this is the class you have to join. And this video shows how to take the assignments in SimNet. It's quite easy. Watch this one. Uh, if you want to go to SimNet, take your class assignment, you can just click here to go jump to this website. So sometimes you may confuse about the web address. So this will give you a shortcut to go to the seminar to take your class assignments. And this video also shows how to take seminar lessons and exams. Uh, one more is about how to complete a seminar project. You do have a seminar project. Okay, here you see you have. What a 2013 capstone level one project, uh, what a 2013 uh, capstone level two project. So you have project uh, that type exercise. Uh, when you click this, you can download instructions, uh, download the start files. Uh, after you finish, uh, you're going to upload. So you need to watch the videos uh, in this to see how to complete a project and upload to get a grade. Uh, SimNet allow you to use it for 14 days free, and uh, I mentioned in the enrollment uh, videos, uh, you want to know how you can uh, watch the videos. First 14 days are free, so f try to use it if you cannot afford to buy it uh, in the first week or second week. After that, you have to, uh, to pay and uh, to type in your um, purchase code, otherwise your account will be locked. Uh, after you put in your purchase code, uh, it's going to be unlocked, so you don't have to worry. Uh, I have uh, this video to show you how to put in your real code after 14 days you finish your trial period. So let's go back to the course content to see what's available there. So I have organized uh, our uh, class uh, contents into different units. Uh, see, you have a unit for Word, for Excel, Access PowerPoint, uh, a unit for textbook uh, computer literacy. I have one more um, unit. Uh, is for research paper and the presentation. In the uh, syllabus file, uh, you can see uh, you have I write. Uh, you have to write a research paper and a presentation. Do a presentation on your research paper. Uh, research paper. The due day is December eleventh midnight. The presentation due day is December thirteenth midnight. So click open the folder, and uh, you can see 
how to write your paper using MLA style and uh, not APA style. In this class, use MLA style. Uh, in your uh, similar lessons, you may see how to type a uh, MLA style research paper. Uh, this link allows you to submit your research paper. Uh, you click here, you can upload. Uh, you may make sure you upload before the due date deadline, December 11th. So don't miss that deadline. Uh, you can choose your research paper topic from this list. There are like 40 topics in this list. Um, you can choose one from this. If you don't like any the topic in this list, you can make yours, but um, it must be a computer-related topic. Uh, there's a guideline for writing your research paper, and it's going to tell you you have to write about three pages, uh, use MLA style, double space, uh, uh, put in your citations, use three references, so read the guideline, you will know the details. And this is a web resource to show you how to do citations. The research paper must have citations because you use references. Here I post a sample of research paper. Uh, this sample is kind of just a page long. For yours, you have to write about three pages long. And make sure you have your citation page, don't count the citation page as a page. And uh, this is more info about MLA style research paper. So let me go back to the another folder. Uh, you can go to the presentation folder and uh, you have guideline for your presentation, you have a sample for presentation design, also about the presentations, uh, you know. Okay, so that's uh, what I have about uh, for your uh, first day orientations. You can click SimNet here to go to SimNet. It's a shortcut also. Okay, thank you for watching this video.